Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. I'm here today to show you how to take apart this console, get it out of your boat, so you can replace the nasty carpet and deck boards that are underneath. This happens to be a boat from the mid 2000s, a Sweetwater to be exact. Maybe something similar to what you're working on, but I'm gonna show you just the basics of getting that console unhooked on a more modern style boat and letting you get to work on the teardown. We are wrapping up the boat behind me in the coming days, but one of the things that I do when we bring a boat in is it's on me to get the controls, steering, all of this stuff unhooked so that Marty and Corey can get into tearing the rest of the boat down. So a little more technical side here, we've got videos that cover taking apart a console that's gonna be put back together. In fact, really similar to this one with Mercury controls and everything like that. This is a newer boat. A lot of it's gonna be just plug and play. Uh, a lot of big just plastic white or black or gray connectors. And as long as you plug them back in, everything should work the exact same. If you're unsure, just label them. Go check out those other videos of consoles, motor rigging, gauges, etc. And if you find our videos helpful and or entertaining, remember, it's hugely helpful if you contribute to our channel, www.buymeacoffee.com backslash Tom's Tunes. If you're shopping for pontoon furniture accessories, definitely check out pontoon stuff. Use our code, that helps us. And we've got some other contributors to our channel who have given us the chance to give you a discount on their products like Brunt Workwear. Awesome boots, super comfortable work clothes. Check out those as well. All of that stuff helps our channel and helps cover the time that we put into editing and making these videos. Thank you so much. I'm gonna tear into this console, get it ready for these guys to take the boat apart. Again, this is a mid 2000s boat. You might be working on something just like this with this heavy carpet. It looked great for a few years. Then it started getting stained and nasty and wet all the time. So if you're doing this, we always advocate tear the carpet up, get rid of the plywood, start all fresh and new. It's almost 20 years old. It's not gonna hurt you to put new plywood on. Then it's gonna last another 20 plus years with vinyl on top where it's not wet all the time and soggy and mossy and gross. Here's the thing. A lot of folks get into a boat like this, they'll unbolt the console from the deck and like hover it up or they'll cut a slit in the side and set it off to the side of the boat. It's crazy to me. Just unhook everything. I promise it's not that bad. Again, we've got videos that help with this, but I'm going to talk you through it really quick just to give you a brief look at what I do. I'm going to go ahead and cut as much of this stuff free as I can. So I've got a big bundle. This is a lot of uh, our accessory electrical. So this is all stereo right here, runs to the stereo. But the cool thing about these factory boats is they used these Deutsch or douche connectors that are waterproof. They make it really easy for me to just put an A on this side and an A on this side. And then I can just plug the A's back in together. I can do a B on this one, which is all my electrical accessories, my lights, nav lights, docking lights, it's all connected here. And then my motor connections are tied in here as well. A lot of stuff, once you cut it free, you're not even gonna need to unhook, like my antenna. No, no reason to unhook that. I've got a dangler here. I might just put an NA on this one to remind myself that it wasn't used for anything. And then stuff like this, which is a switch panel, uh, basically just running power to the switch panel, but there's gonna be another accessory plug that actually comes here that feeds my switch panel. So stuff like that, label it, unplug it, and you're gonna be surprised how simple it can be to just pull everything down through the floor, put your brand new floor on, and then you can come back and cut a new hole where the console goes. It's gonna line right up with the old railings. Over here, it's gonna be really obvious where it goes. It's gonna line right up with the seat, so I can't mess that up because it gets pushed in. There's a teeny gap here, but it gets pushed into the seat because it becomes a lean back. I took that cushion off. Everything's gonna correspond back together, and then I can drill my hole, push everything back up through, and reconnect. I promise, don't get overwhelmed. It looks pretty scary. I get that, we got gauges, we got all this stuff. But on these newer boats, you can unplug and replug, and you're gonna say, gosh, I'm thankful I did it right. 
the one time I did it, then don't touch it again for 20 years. Are you waiting for me to hurry up and be done so you can get to work? I was wondering if you would help me on this workout. Who's gonna win today and who's gonna have to do the dirty work? I'm gonna have to go under the boat. Here's a perfect example. I cut a bundle of wires and check this out. This big wire going down through the floor, I know I'm gonna need to push that down through. That is all stuff from the boat manufacturer in terms of accessory electrical. This is our accessory wires that are coming from the switch panel. That's this one. This is our main power in, this guy. And then this is our stereo. So that stuff's all just gonna stay together. I just have to unplug those three. I can leave that plugged in up there. I can leave a bunch of other stuff. Then once I pull that down through the floor, I'll remove this little plate. It'll give me more access to push stuff down through. That'll clear that out. Then I can move on to my motor rigging stuff that's tucked up behind there. Again, just trying to simplify this for you so you're not overwhelmed when you tear into a project like this. Before you start going crazy, make sure you unhook your battery. Ain't nobody need to get shocked. And we don't want to trip any breakers or ruin any electronics. Let's unhook this and then we can get back to the console. With those wires unhooked, so I'm just gonna leave these dangling in here. It's not gonna hurt anything. Now I can move on. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the bundle back here. That's the ignition harness coming up through. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that free so I can sort through. I'm gonna have to get my ignition out of here, my safety kill lanyard. And then when everything's loosened up, I should have enough slack in the system to pull my control box out and unhook that from the top side. Before I get to that bundle, I'm gonna opt to take the steering cable out, which I've already done. I just removed this key. This is a quick connect rotary helm. I take the key, I push into this detent here. It's spring loaded, turn the wheel, and it's gonna push that cable right out. On most ignition harnesses and your outboard control stuff, you're gonna have a neutral safety wire, yellow with red stripes, with quick connects. They might even just be directly spliced. They don't care which goes to which, so don't worry about those. They're just gonna reconnect to another pair of yellow wires with a red stripe and a trim and tilt. So this is where that came from. Mercury makes it easy. Remote control. That goes to the control box, your shift and throttle box. I can move on to my gauges. These are quick connects, so I can unplug from there. And then this all runs up as a gauge harness up here. So we'll look at that in just a second here. We have a key switch. That's a quick plug on this newer style Mercury harness. Uh, we will be able to just unplug that. I don't have to actually remove my ignition. Sometimes you have to unhook the ignition and drop it down through with everything else. But on these newer boats that haven't been touched by hands that like to make everything harder, this is actually gonna go pretty smooth. I'm gonna unhook all the stuff for my motor harness, ignition harness, gauges and then drop that through. Then I can unhook the control box, drop the shift throttle cables through and this console will be ready to come out. Who won the workout? It's really disappointing because Marty won and I basically took yesterday off and made a really hard workout for them yesterday. And he still won today. So who's gonna get covered in spiders? I'm gonna call him sick, so Marty. <laughs> oh boy. Now that I've freed all of the wires, this can pull out far enough for me to get at the back of the control box. We've got videos on really similar control boxes to this and how to uninstall them. So take a peek at those. I'm going to get this pulled out of here and then I can unbolt the console from the floor. It is really nice on a project like this. This bar here spaces the console out, but what's going to be really neat is it's actually bolted through the console that's going to make the console line right back up perfectly with the railings and the furniture it's going to make this boat come back together a lot simpler and easier on me control box is out in full, a console like this from, uh, I think it's a 2006 Sweetwater. This thing came apart, if I wasn't videoing, probably in 20 to 30 minutes. I know I do this all the time. I'm comfortable with control boxes and everything. But if you follow this step by step and you take your time, you label what you need to, you can have yours apart in no time too. I'm gonna hand this over to Corey and Marty to tear down 
and get the console just unbolted right off the boat and it'll be good to go. One other thing that was down underneath there that you I didn't point out before it was just a drain hose so a lot of times these cup holders are going to have a drain hose that feeds down in through the floor so you don't have water in your electrical all the time i do think it's kind of neat that this boat in 2006 or 7 this was a cell phone holder i think and nowadays there's no way that my iphone is fitting in there <laughs> phones have gotten a little bigger over time all righty thank you for watching again if this was helpful Please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what project you're working on on your boat. And if it was super helpful, consider contributing to our channel either through Super Thanks right here in the video down below or www.buymeacoffee.com backslash Tom's Tunes. Thanks again for watching.